Okay, I have makeup on and a like schmidgen of motivation today. So <laughs> let's film my January and February empties, which honestly is not a ton. Um, I'm not so much, am I working on finishing some stuff up? I mean like yes and no. Um, like there are some things that I'm working on finishing up, but like not to the extent that I was, I was working on finishing stuff up, you know, towards like the second half of last year. Um, at least right now, I'm like pretty comfortable in my, in my routines. So I'm not looking just like, I'm not looking to like speed, speed through stuff, but we've got, you know, like a decent, decent amount of things to talk about today. So, um, let's get started. So in January, I finished some things, <laughs> obviously. All right, let's, let's start with some hair things. So I finished a couple of conditioners. I finished off the last of the Vegamore Grow conditioner that I had left. Um, I had finished the shampoo, the serum, and the gummies You know, up last year, um, I think towards like the end of December is when I finished those things up. So I finally finished up the conditioner. Uh, I remember growing up as a kid, <clears throat> or like a teen, not as a kid so much, but like as a teen, I did have really long hair when I was a teenager. I feel like I went through conditioner so much faster as a teen, and now I go through conditioner slower. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> Does anybody else have that same experience? Like you remember you know, going through conditioner super fast as a kid, or as like a teenager, and now you don't go through it as fast, or is that just me? Um, but yeah, it takes me a lot longer to get through conditioner than it does uh, shampoo these days. And then I also finished off the Momi conditioner, which I really like. I really love the Momi, the Momi hair care. Um, their clarifying shampoo and their balancing shampoo especially. I love their clarifying shampoo. It really does a good job of like stripping my hair of like dry shampoo, of like product, or just oils in general without actually stripping my hair. So my hair doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like straw. It just feels clean and like fresh. Um, I know that's about the clarifying shampoo, but the conditioner is also very, very nice. It makes my hair feel very soft. Um, I do really like that as well, but I think out of their, out of all of their hair care, the clarifying shampoo is probably my favorite. Um, the Vegamore conditioner, I also really, really liked. I, I feel like the Vegamore stuff did help my hair grow or like help had helped it regrow because uh, the last time I cut it was last May. So it's actually been almost a year since I cut my hair. So let's see, I cut my, I cut my hair, I feel like up to like here, cause it was like right above my shoulder. So my hair has grown a pretty decent amount in the last year. And I do feel like using the Vegamore stuff, while it didn't make my hair grow like extremely fast, I do feel like it did help sort of like boost it a little bit because I did use the Vegamore Grow stuff exclusively for three months. So that's all the shampoo that I used. I used the serum. Um, I took the gummies, though the gummies only lasted a month. Um, the only thing that I, I didn't, I used that wasn't a Vegamore product was my um, uh, leave-in conditioner spray from Evolve, which really doesn't have any impact on like, you know, hair growth or anything like that. But for three months exclusively, all I used was the Vegamore Grow stuff. And I do feel like it did help sort of like boost the speed of the growth of my hair, because I do feel like my hair has grown a lot in the last year, like more than it, more than it would have, I think. I, I do feel like, I, I feel like it's growing fast. Does it feel like that for anybody else or has time really just sort of like gotten away from me that much that it feels like it? It feels like it's longer than it would be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> okay, so some body things. I finished up the Olivia hand wash. I really like their hand wash. Um, I meant to pick a bunch up at Black Friday and then forgotten and then they were sold out. So I do have one more. Oh no, I think I might actually, oh no, I've got one more sitting at my sink and then I'm out. Um, but I have a few other hand washes from like, um, Cosmopolit is it cosmetology? A cosmetology, I have a few hand washes. Um, so I've got a couple that I need to finish up before I really should buy more, but um, I do really like that. It is my preferred, it is my preferred hand wash. Um, so once I'm done with like all the other hand washes in my house, that probably is the one that I'll buy exclusively because I do like it. It's nourishing, it lasts a long time. Um, you know, if you don't overuse it, which I don't, it took me like six months to use one bottle just like for me. So like if my kid gets a hold of it or if you know somebody else was using it, you know, who previously lived here, they went through um 
hand wash a lot faster. Um, they overused it, so I, we were going through hand wash a lot faster, but now that you use the proper amount, we don't go through it so fast. <laughs> um, so there, yeah, there's that. I also finished off the Sleep Detox Hot Bath from Kaya Naturals. I, mm, I don't, this didn't really like impress me in any way. Um, they only have this one now where they did have like a few other scents before, but they only have this one and you can only get it as like a set with their like sleep tea or whatever. I wouldn't buy this again. Um, I much prefer like my, my Bathorium stuff or my, what else do I even use? Bathorium, mostly Bathorium. That's mostly what I use is just Bathorium at this point. <laughs> um, okay. I also finished off a wild deodorant. Like refill. So this is one of the deodorants that I was testing for, or I, I have tested for my next round of deodorants. Deodorant reviews, this was the January Jasmine in Mandarin Blossom, which it was really, really nice. Um, I'll save my thoughts for that video, but I did finish off a whole like refill. I used it until I finished it. So there is that. The deodorant video should come soon. I think I have one more that I need to test. I've been testing one for a very long time for no particular reason other than just like laziness. Like I haven't gone back into the box and like pulled out a new one. Um, even though the one that I've been testing has not been the best um, because I do find myself smelling after like only a few hours and um, it's not, it's really, it's not the best for my body. So I should have, I should have switched it out like a month ago, but just out of sheer laziness, I like didn't. So I've just been sort of like <laughs> suffering. <laughs> with uh, smelly pits for, you know, not like at home, not like when I go out smelling or something like that, but not that it matters. Anyway, um, okay, some skincare stuff. So I finished off a 10 mil of the Hawaiian Hydration. Um, I love this, absolutely love it. It's expensive, but it is worth it. My skin looks really great. I'm, I'm still using it right now and my skin really loves it. It responds really well to it. Um, my skin is like, it's blotchy and it's discolored, but it's, um, it's smooth and um, my acne has not been like super, super terrible. And I contribute a little bit of it to that and some other stuff too, but like, I love that. It's so good. Um, I also finished off the Odacite Wild Carrot Serum Concentrate. This one is the one for Vital Glow. Did it do that? I, I don't know. I had so many of those Odacity serum concentrates that I just started using them, like with whatever oil I was using. I've stopped now because I am using the Activist Manuka serum that came in the Beauty Heroes box, and I'm only mixing that with my Hawaiian hydration. I'm like not using anything else um, to like mix it with, so I'm not using any of those right now. Um, I just I used them to use them, not because I noticed any real specific difference when using them. Um, there's a very select few of those serum concentrates that I'd actually repurchase, um, and that's. I don't think that's one of them, though I like the concept of it. I just don't know if it actually does what it says it does, at least for my skin. I don't know. I don't know. I, I use so much other stuff that it's sometimes hard to tell if one thing is working over something else. And I don't think that one was working over anything else that would make me spend another. I think that one is one of their more expensive ones too. That one is, um, let's see, $58. So it is, it's one of their more expensive ones. And I don't think I would spend another $60 on on that one. I also have the Sahara Rose Moroccan Rose Water Toner. I don't think they make this anymore, but it was something that I had had from a while ago. Um, it was just rose water, um, but I just used it up. I was trying to use up a bunch of toners and that was one of my older ones that was sitting around. Um, would I buy it again if it was available? No, probably not. Um, I, it was okay, but it was a. I think I prefer, well, I definitely prefer the Three Roses from is it Three Roses? I can't remember what it's called. The one from Earthwise that they just released. That one is so beautiful. I also finished off a travel size of the Leilani Honey Love. I love this. I hadn't used it in a while, but it was so very nice. It's like, as long as, as, long as your skin is not like too overly sensitive to like physical exfoliation, it's because it's got those like microdermabrasion crystals in it. Um, my skin loves it. I don't know. I really like it. It only had like three or four uses in it, so I just put it in the shower. I also finished off a pan of my Alima Pure Pressed Foundation. This was in the shade Nutmeg, which I think is my summer shade. I'm pretty sure it's my summer shade because um, I think right now I'm wearing Sesame or it's swapped. Honestly, I can't remember. 
can't remember, this was one of them, but I finished it up. I am wearing it today because it is my favorite foundation. I have a hard time trying other foundations because I just love the Alima Pure Pressed Foundation like so much. Like literally in the last year, I maybe have worn like one or two other different foundations that weren't the Alima Pure Pressed Foundation. So, I mean like, it makes my skin look good. I don't know, what can I say? <laughs> so that's everything that I used in February. So let's pull out, or no, that was everything that I used in January. Now let's pull out all of the things that I finished in February. Um, since we're already talking about it, I did finish another pan of the Alima Pure Press Foundation. This was in the shade Sesame. So I'm pretty sure this one is my winter shade. I wanna say that it is, because I feel like Sesame is lighter than Nutmeg. At least on like the food scale, like sesame seeds are whiter and nutmeg is like a bit darker, well, more, more than a bit, but I think, I think this one is my winter shade. Um, but I did have refills for both of them, so I do have those um, you know, in my pans already. I am already using my winter shade and then I've got my summer shade like all ready to go once my skin, if it tans. Like I don't actually know what this summer is gonna look like. So last summer I'd actually spent a lot of time in the sun in like May and early June. So I ended up getting a bunch of color on my skin and I was darker than I usually am. Um, but then July, August, and then, you know, like into winter, I did not spend as much time outside. So my skin, you know, went back to sort of its like more normal tone. So I don't actually know what this summer is going to look like. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if I end up even needing to use my summer shade. <laughs> see how much time I spend outdoors. Um, I finished off another or Audacite Serum Concentrate. This is the Papaya Geranium one for hyperpigmentation. Again, did it make a real difference in my skin? Really hard to tell. I, I didn't notice a specific difference in my hyperpigmentation. I didn't notice a difference like in my spots, in my discoloration or anything like that. So I'm gonna go with probably not. Um, again, not, a, not another concentrate that I would rebuy. So I've got some acne patches. I have the Mighty Patch Duo, which is six of the original and six of the invisibles. Um, you can get this specific one at Target. Um, so I had that and I finished that up. And then I also finished off the Rail Miracle Patches. These are the ones I get on Amazon because they're 96 and it's only $15 a box, which ends up lasting me a couple of months at this point because um, I'm not breaking out a ton. And when I do break out, it really only lasts for a couple of days. And then the rest of the month, I usually am okay to not have to use these because I don't have like super bad, you know, acne stuff going on. So I do end up getting you know, quite a lot of use out of these. They take me a little bit, you know, it's, it's not like I'm going through a box a month right now. Um, but yeah, I love those. Those are great. Cost effective, affordable, they work. Highly recommend. As I'm like coughing my brains out out here. I have to edit, I have to edit out all these coughs. All right, um, skincare, since we're talking about skincare, I did finish up a large size of the Hawaiian Hydration. I just talked about this, so there really is not much more to say, but I do love it. It is very expensive, but it is, glorious. Okay, so I have two of the Lola Jane bath cubes. I did actually end up using those on Oliver. The Lola Jane bath cubes I'm using with him because the bath cube does not last as long as say the Bathorium bath bombs, which are my favorite. The Lola Jane ones are nice. They're $8, but they don't last a terribly long time in the bathtub. The Bathorium ones are much bigger. They're $10 and they last a really, really long time in the bathtub. I mean, not like hours. You know, it's got, it's, it takes a lot longer for the, the bath bomb to dissolve. Um, and then when it does dissolve, it leaves this like moisturizing layer of almost like foam at the top of the bath and like, you know, moisturizes the bath water. So it, it, it makes for like a really, really lovely bath experience. So these are my favorite bath bombs. They're the ones that I'm gonna repurchase from here on out. Um, these and the Prima bath gems are like the two best bath cube bomb products that I've tried that I really love. The Prima bath gems are good for like uh, muscle relaxation, um, because they have the CBD in them and they're great for that. Um, these are great, you know, if you want a more moisturizing bath or just uh, like a rejuvenating, like rejuvenating fa uh, bath. So this one was the Boreal Fog, which I really, really liked. Really enjoyed that. It was a good time. I sat in the, so I used that one when I went out of town. I went to up north. Um, my stepdad has a cabin up there and um, it snowed, so we wanted to go play in the snow because that was probably the last time we were gonna have the opportunity to see snow before you know the season ended. Um, so we went up there for like a weekend, a couple of weeks ago, and 
you know, one night I put that in the bath and then I like laid in the bath for like three hours and just read my book. It was great. <laughs> it was a great time. Okay, the last thing I have is the Sambucus or Sambucus, I don't know. Um, Nature's Way Kids Gummies Immune Support. Um, Oliver takes these and do they help? Again, I don't know because we're sick all the time. <laughs> but he likes them, you know, they've got elderberry in them. I figure they're not hurting him. Um, he does take a multivitamin and he does take a separate vitamin D as well, just to make sure that he, you know, especially on those days where he gets really picky with food, if he's not eating, you know, the greatest, um, as we know kids are, uh, I just want to make sure that he's got, you know, the vitamins that he needs. So that's everything that I used up in January and February. I mean, not like the most exciting empties ever, and it's relatively short. We're only sitting here at like 16 minutes. Hope that you guys enjoyed spending a little bit of time with me talking about some of the things that I've used up. We've got, we've got two cats over there cleaning themselves. Don't you Jill? It's later in the day, which is why it's so um, sunny, sunny on the bed. Look at them. Jill. Jesse. Look, look at the way Jill's sitting. Anyway, that's all that I've got for you today. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one.